got here is a tank that I load up on a 30 day retention. It's a stomach that I feed as if it's going to take 30 days for this slug to get through. Mm -hmm. And I do that because the methanogens, the bacteria that eat this stuff, really do a job in about 30 days. There's a heavy duty drawdown of carbon nitrogen. They really reproduce and they fart like hell for seven days. But it takes that other few days to, to get the full meal deal. <laughs> Okay, so the ideal design is to feed this in 30-day slugs. That's 1,500 gallons of water and material in there. So every 50 gallons, it, 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 if I did that 30, divide by 30, I would come up with 50 gallons a day of water, nutrients, carbon, right? 1,500 is the capacity of that system? That's that, Yes. So I can load in 50 gallons of, of slurry is what you're after. Okay. Okay. And so uh, I generally put in uh, about uh, 50 pounds of stuff and cover it with water and drop it in. And that's about 50 pounds for a 30-day cycle. Every day. Every day. Every day. Oh, so you load continuously? Yes. It, it, it's a batch digester. So okay. it is a displacement digester. The 50 pounds, or however much I decide to put in, comes out every day. How do you get it out? It comes out by gravity. It's a displacement. This is higher than that. This input this is, a loading. is loading higher, back. yes, is higher than this. That's the output. Right. And you have to t take that out every day? Well, we just let it run out or pump it out or put it on the trees. Basically, it goes to the trees. And there's no loss of any nutrient. What you put in, you got out, and you got it out in a more useful form. It's all soluble. And basically, it gets pumped to these trees. This, Is uh, this continuous in a pipe, like after it enters the tank? Yeah, there's a pipe at the bottom, uh -huh. right? So regardless of the fact that the water level's up here, what is discharged is coming off the bottom. Mm -hmm. You understand that, okay. right? So, so it comes up here, and this right here sets the water level. Right here, that invert sets the water level. Sets the water level in a tank here. Yes, yes. Doesn't, no matter how much water I put in there, this sets the water level, and it'll just run out here if I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't the digested up. solids settle on the bottom. The digested solids yes. settle on the bottom. Yes, but when you load it continuously, you'll start to see it gets more and more solids coming out because it's pulling off the bottom. And the digested stuff gets lighter, and then what happens is it's digested, and then it gets lighter, and then it falls down. And that is completely digested stuff, and that's what you want to come out. After complete digestion, it falls down. Yeah, and then it comes back up, and you want that on the way out as it comes out. So I've got a big pile of stuff right here and then this is a little bit lighter, little completely done and it's just falling down. And when you load this up, it comes out over here from the bottom. And so I don't have to constantly take stuff out. I don't have to physically lift this off and dig it out. It's constantly moving out. This is great. And if you had a garden or something right next door, <coughs> here, wouldn't would that be good? Go crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so we take this in a bucket, we used to take it over there in a bucket. But actually, if you do your garden right, you don't need this. The trees do, and the grass does. So we just spray it out over there because that's what. We're doing. So it'd be a good idea to put this next to the orchard. No. Uh, once again, you know, it wants to be in a southern slope. It wants to be where everything's passively feeding it. That's going to feed it, stuff like that. Theoretically, if you turn over here with your little cam papal, papal camera, <laughs> this barn should be up here. If you were going to do this design theoretically properly, this design, that barn's in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. But the dear wife and I decided we didn't want to look out at the breakfast table <laughs> on the barn. Yeah. So the barn is down here, which necessitated putting a pump from the shit collector on the back of the barn to this. 
Otherwise, you want all of this feeding passively into this. And then we want to take this and pump it in there or to the greenhouse, depending on what you're doing. And this now will flow actually pretty easily into that garden. So that's going to be uh, little flip-flops garden from there back down to here. So this is, um, you can call it an integral part of your fertility system for, yeah, the, it for is. the operation. Yeah, it is. And the more, uh, again, we're just messing with it here. It's sort of like a demonstration. It's fun to play with. It's great to turn on the stove. <laughs> People go crazy. It's just really This so is cool. piped to your house right now? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. As soon as I plug it, we'll turn it on and you can see. How would we scale this? What kind of size would you s <clears throat> suggest for factory farm for actual gas production? Well, first of all, you got to do septic <laughs> anyways, don't you? Uh -huh. So all that water and all that shit, what, what are you going to do with it? I'm saying, well, at least do the water. The shit won't help you much. Sorry. Uh huh. You want a handkerchief? No. It's clean. Okay. Put that on TV, on your papal TV. <laughs> okay. So I don't. Uh, you know, you're gonna look at the spreadsheet and you're gonna play with the dials, and it'll tell you basically if you add this much biomass, how much biomass do you have? It's unlimited. It's just huge. So, so actually, grass clippings are actually best for oh you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, by, by a long shot. What I'm going to do, though, is I think I'm going to show you an industrial size system that's not batch. That's batch. It's not a plug flow. And you need to look at that because that's what we are recommended for chicken farms so that they could produce it. They can't afford the gas to heat their chickens with in the wintertime. So we would take the clean out, take the chicken shit, make methane with it. And I'm one of the few guys that can do that and then take those nutrients back and they get to sell the nutrients with no loss, plus they got free gas. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the gas companies uh, are the only ones who were interested. The, the growers were interested, but nobody put up the money to do it. Nobody would take the risk to do it. So once you see this, I'll give you these diagrams and these calculations. It's a whole written up proposal. Mm -hmm. You need to do that at factory farms, what I think you should do, mm -hmm. rather than this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you've got so much biomass and you need so much gas. And these are batch, so you have three. This one's loaded, this one's being loaded and covered, this one's being loaded, and this one's ready to go, this is empty. <coughs> so you're cycling down. This one's now covered, this one's producing gas, this one's open, drying out, and going back onto the field. Back onto your orchard in particular, back onto your, your gardens. Uh huh. Yeah, see, that's how you get your compost. That's how you get everything, and you lose nothing. So, compost, this would be from chicken? No, this would be from biomass. It's just going to turn into this brown, sweet. I don't really? Know what. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Huh. And it's perfectly chelated nutrients, man. It's just so spectacular. Hmm. And it comes out of a digester. Hmm. Yeah. And then, of course, this one's getting reloaded this one's producing gas and and you can just keep those three going wow yeah that's what i think you should do huh yeah. and, and what what anywhere. volume you can put it anywhere well what they volume? would be they would be say 40 feet long and say 10 feet wide and maybe two feet deep and covered with uh, heavy oh, plastic and water there's a uh, the whole design and everything how to build it and everything's written up you just have to pull it off Wow, and that could run. Oh, well, that could run generators. That could run everything. It, it would produce h hundreds of cubic meters of gas a day. Yeah. Really. Really. What kind of cost are we talking about for that? Not much. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Yeah. That's that's a depending on how expensive. We gotta get those plans out. Okay. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah.